if you're looking to buy an over-the-shoulder camera bag, either for yourself or as a present for somebody else, you might want to consider the Low Pro Adventurer SH143, which is exactly what this is. This is a super lightweight, compact, three-litre bag that goes over the shoulder and is ideal for crop sensor cameras or mirrorless cameras. The bag is made from 600D polyester externally and it's waterproof and internally it's got 200D. It's super, super lightweight at 27 grams and you can hardly even feel the weight of it whatsoever. It comes with an adjustable, fully adjustable shoulder strap and it's got a rubberized piece at the top to stop it slipping off your shoulder. It's got a carry handle to hold, carry it, and it's got an external pouch. Although the clips on the side are plastic, they're really, really good top quality, uh, as is the zips. Zips feel perfect, sealing it up and down. I bought this to put my Canon 400D or my Olympus EPR5 or my Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II. And all three of those cameras fit in this, and I'll show you them fitting in. It comes with two dividers inside. It's got a pouch for a spare memory card. And it's also got a side pouch inside for cables or a microfiber cloth or anything else you want to put in. It's super light, super compact. I bought this bag from Wex in the UK and it cost me £35 plus £3 shipping. And with this, you get a free product and you get this Joby Gorilla Pod uh, 1K kit, which in the UK sells for anywhere between £25 and £50. So I've pretty much got a bag and a Joby for £38, which I think is a great bargain. These cost roughly about the similar price in the US. They're about $30, $35 to $40. Externally, it's got some rubber on the side that you can use to put it down and it stops it slipping. It feels really, really good quality. Now, let's have a look inside and see what it's like inside. The bag comes with two dividers, one here, one here. It has a pocket at the top where you can put a memory card in and it also has a pocket at the side for putting cables or microfiber cloths etc it's really easy getting if you don't need the, the dividers obviously you can pull them out and as you can see here i've got my canon 400d and that slots in the bag really nice and easy it fits perfectly in the bag canon 400d put pop the cable in and it folds up really nicely, just like that. Zips up, and there, you, there you've got your cannon in the bag. Now, you can pull, pull that out, and you've noticed there's also a bit more space in there if you want to put anything else that you invite me. For instance, if you've got uh, a bag of, of things, you can stick it in there just like that really easily. It's got lots and lots of room. Canon 400D DSLR camera, obviously light. Olympus EPL5 is just lots of room in there for the Olympus EPL5. It's perfect for it. There's lots and lots of room in there. In fact, you could get the 120 for the EPL5 if you've got an even smaller camber. My, e, uh, my Olympus EM1 Mark II fits really nice and snugly in there, and it just it's just about fits perfectly. Uh, it's, a, it's a bit snug, but it's, it fits nicely. It's exactly what I wanted it for, so it's ideal. It's got straps at the front, so if you want to put that on a belt or if you want to uh, attach that to another bag or anything else, you've got that option to put it on those on there. It's got rubber at the bottom, which you can it stops it from moving, stops it from rolling. With that rubber, it'll, it won't roll, which is perfect. A really nice handle and a really nice strap with uh, a rubberized top to slop it slippy in if you've got it over your shoulder, over a jacket or a, or a jersey or something. If you want it, that's what you're using for. It, it's just, it just does exactly what it says on the tin. It's ideal. It's 10 centimetres this way. It's 13 centimetres deep and it's 22 and a half centimetres wide. As I said, it's ideal for putting in my Canon 400D. It, it fits perfectly. It's, that's the size. That's an ideal size for it. Having a shoulder strap enables you to hold the bag on your shoulder and you can unzip the zips like this and open the flap up and you can just reach in 
and get out your camera really easily and put it back in your bag right in front of you. It really works well. It's perfect. Ideal for what, what, what you would need. Thanks very much indeed for watching this short video about the Low Pro Adventure SH143 bag. I hope it's been useful. I hope it helps you make a decision on it if this bag is something you were interested in buying. Uh, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.